So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. I had some people go ahead and email me and tell me that, hey, can I get the Google Chrome onto my Fire Stick or the mouse is not working. So today we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a look. We're gonna do a fresh new video, upgrade video, and let's see what's going on. So stay tuned, it's time for streaming. So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Today I'm on the Fire Stick 4K. If you're looking for a new device, check out my description down below. I have a couple of different links in there for other devices also besides the Fire Stick. Click on the link, no extra cost to you. Small commission to the channel. It does help out to bring some more videos. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're gonna do an upgrade video on how to get Google Chrome onto your Fire Stick with a working mouse. So here we are on the home screen of the Fire Stick 4K. Let's go over to the left. Let's go down to search, click on search. First thing we need is to go ahead and click on D. Come on down and let's get that popular app called Downloader. Underneath apps and games, go ahead and give it a click. Give it a few seconds, let it come on in, download your own it, go ahead and click it. Give it a few seconds to download and install. If you like what you're seeing so far, click on that like and subscribe button, ring that bell. That way you know when I do put up some more videos. Let's go ahead and open this up. Go ahead and click on allow, and then click OK. Click that home button on your remote. So here we are on the home screen of the Fire Stick 4K. Let's go over to the gear or the cogwheel. Let's go ahead down to where it says My Fire TV, and let's give it a click. Let's go ahead and click on about. Now right here where it says Fire Stick 4K, you gotta click it several times and then it's gonna come up and it's gonna let you get to be a developer. I am already a developer, so I don't need to do it. Let's here it is, developer options, you click on it. Make sure your ADB debugging is on and apps from unknown sources. Make sure that's also turned on. Okay, let's go ahead and click that home button again on our remote. Let's go ahead. Now that we're back on the home screen, go over to the three boxes and the plus sign, also known as your apps. Go ahead and click on it. Let's go down to the bottom where the downloader is. Click the three line remote button on your remote. And let's go down to where it says move to front. Go ahead and let's move it. Click the home button on your remote again. Now that we have downloader right here on the first square, right on the home screen, Let's go ahead and open up Downloader. And enter a URL. You want to type in the Time for Streaming shortcut URL for the web page. 218-330. Then go ahead, click on Go. Give it a few seconds to connect and reconnect to the Time for Streaming homepage. Once we're connected to the Time for Streaming web page, let's go ahead up, go over to the right. Go to where the three lines are, click on the three lines. Come on over, let's go on down to where it says downloads, click on downloads. Give it a few seconds for the page to change to where it says downloads. Now let's go ahead, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna get the Google Chrome and we're also going to go ahead and get our mouse toggle. Right on the neat app downloads, here's the Google Chrome. Let's go ahead, and give that a click. Give it a few seconds to go ahead and connect and download, and then we'll come right back. Now it's finished downloading, let's go ahead, click on install. Shouldn't take that long to install, then we can move on to the next step. Once it's finished installing, don't open it, click on done. Go ahead, click on delete. Click delete again. This just gets rid of the file inside the downloader app. Now let's go ahead, get the mouse toggle. Click on it. Give that a few seconds to connect and we'll move forward. Click on install. And then you wanna do the same thing. Click on done, click on delete, delete again. Now back onto the home screen. Let's go back over to your apps. Click on it. Let's go down to the bottom. Let's hover over Google Chrome. Green line button on your remote. Let's move to front. Come back down. 
Let's go ahead and get the mouse toggle. Click the three line button on your remote, move to front. Back onto the home screen, let's go over to the right. Let's go click on mouse toggle. Now there is word that Amazon is starting to stop third party apps. So it could be at the time of this recording that I'm making now, they could be stopping us from using the mouse toggle. Hopefully somebody comes out with another way of using mouse toggle, or you're gonna have to use a little mini a mouse, or you can use a new mini keypad to go ahead and navigate through the Google Chrome. Right now it's saying starting, so let's go. That's good, that's what we want. Click that home button on our remote. Let's go over to where Google Chrome is. Let's go ahead, open up Google Chrome. Right here, now you wanna go ahead and take out the checkbox. You don't want them sending any information. So as you can see, you cannot scroll down with the arrow pad or nothing. But to activate mouse toggle, you need to double click real fast on the play pause button. You should get a little ring that comes up that's gonna let you use the virtual mouse to go ahead and click onto the checkbox. Now, as you can see, I'm doing it. It's not working. So this is what you need to do. Click on that home button on your remote. Go back over to where the mouse toggle is. Click on the mouse toggle. Make sure it's saying starting, which it is. Click the home button on your remote again. Let's go over, go to the gear, click on the gear. Let's go down to where it says My Fire TV. Then you wanna go up to where it says ADB Debugging, or go into Developer Options, and then go into ADB Debugging. Go ahead, click on it, turn it off. You wanna go ahead, click it, and turn it back on. Now let's go ahead, click on that Home button on our remote again. Let's go open up Google Chrome again. And now let's go ahead, double click real fast on the play pause button. So it looks like Amazon had already blocked mouse toggle from working. So now what I hooked up is I hooked up a little mini keypad. I'll leave the description down below with a link on how you could go ahead and purchase one. Doesn't cost a lot of money, real cheap, and it works really great. Also, you need an OTG cable, which I'll also leave a link down below in the description so that way you can purchase one of them too. But the one thing that's good about the mini keypad, it has a lot of functions that if you're in downloader, you could go ahead and type. You also can navigate through your Fire Stick nice and easy without using a remote. So for instance, right now on the mini keypad, here we go, we have our little mouse. Let's go ahead and bring it down over here. I'm gonna click the OK button and I'm gonna take that check mark out of the box. Now I'm going to go ahead over to where it says accept and click on accept and let it move forward to the next screen. And here you are onto the Google. Let's go up into the search. Let's go ahead and click on it. And now with your new mouse pad, you could go ahead and type in anything that you want to type in just from your mouse pad. And then when you're done, you go ahead and click on go. Let's go ahead and click on that home button on our remote. I hope you find this video very helpful and entertaining. I hope this video helps you out now in knowing why Google Chrome, it's hard to use without the virtual mouse because Amazon has stopped mouse toggle from working. And again, the only solution right now is to go ahead and get yourself a little mini USB keyboard. Still works really good on the Fire Stick for other things that you want to use it for. Searching, inside downloader, inside Google Chrome, or just navigating through the Fire Stick itself, it works really fine. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you have yourself a little mini keyboard that you use with your Fire Stick. And remember, day or night, it's time for streaming.